Hey yo! Today I'm working with that coral eyeshadow by Essence that I showed you in my July favorites video. I'm gonna be honest, this look was completely unplanned. I just sort of sat down and rolled with it and ended up with this. I would say this video is the result of my insomnia, so let's get cracking. So the first product that I'm using is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese. I'm applying this to the first portion of my lid space as well as my tear duct, and then I'm gonna spread it out evenly with a synthetic brush. Cottage Cheese is like a pearlescent white shade. It's really nice and shimmery. Next I've got this rosy coral eye pencil by LA Colors, and it's called Cherry Blossom. I purchased this off Cherry Culture, I think it's a couple bucks, and I'm gonna apply that to the remaining portion of my eyelid, and I'm gonna spread that out as well. With a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to apply Apply a bit of the Sparkling Effect Eyeshadow by Essence in Dance All Night to the first portion of my eye and I'm placing it over top of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is a white goldy shade and I'm packing it on pretty heavily because I want it to really show up. After I've cleaned that shade off my brush, I'm going to take this Essence Coral Eyeshadow in Shrimp Me Up and I'm going to apply it to the remainder of my eyelid. Again, I'm packing this on pretty generously. I'm working it just up to my crease and very slightly patting it into Dance All Night and the reason I'm I'm doing this is because I don't want like a harsh distinct line between the two shades and I want them to look more like a gradient. And on that note, I'm going back in with Dance All Night and blending it into Shrimp Me Up so it appears like they're naturally blending into one another with no harsh distinction between the two shades. Next, I am taking this small Artster brush and an Essence eyeshadow in Metropolitan, and I'm gonna slightly define my crease with it. I'm starting on one end of my crease and slowly dragging it into the center of my crease. And as I'm dragging it back and forth, you can see I'm sort of starting to thicken up the end of my crease, and I'm starting to kind of create that V shape on the outer edge of my eye. And once I've deepened up that V shape, I'm running the brush back into the center of my crease, and I'm dragging it to the front portion of my eye and I'm basically creating a cut crease effect on the front of my eye as well. So since I've done quite a bit with that brown eyeshadow, I'm gonna go back in with a coral shade and I'm gonna touch up the center of my eye in case it got lost. And with a clean brush, I'm gonna blend out Metropolitan that I've placed in my crease. Now with a flat brush and my Wet n Wild eyeshadow in Brulee, I'm gonna clean up the shape of this eye look so that it's kind of like a perfect almond shape, if that makes sense. And then I'm going back in with Metropolitan and sharpening up the crease. And then I'm going back in with Brulee and cleaning up the outer shape of my eye. And then I'm touching up the coral again for good luck. With this Smashbox eyeshadow in Nude and a smudger brush from the art store, I'm gonna place it above my cut crease and blend it upwards towards my brow. Typically when you do a cut crease, it's always nice to place a lighter shade above it and blend it upwards to kind of soften the whole look, unless you're looking to just do like a really sharp cut crease and that's what you're going for. And then I'm gonna go back in with Brulee by Wet n Wild and I'm gonna place it on my brow bone. And now for the fun part, I'm going to take a little Ben Nye glitter glue and I'm placing a drop on the back of my hand and I'm going to gently apply it to the center of my eye with a small synthetic brush. As you can see, I'm patting this on very lightly so that I'm not disturbing the eyeshadow underneath. And then I'm gonna take this gorgeous 3D Gold by MAC and I'm placing it over top of where I've placed my glue. When you're doing this, you wanna work through this step fairly quickly because you don't want the glitter glue to completely dry. You want to apply the glitter to the glue while the glue is still wet and tacky. I think this color combination is so pretty. It reminds me of like a coral mermaid's tail. And you guys know I love my mermaids. So I'm skipping past eyeliner today because I feel like I always do a winged eyeliner and sometimes I find eyeliner takes away from the simplicity of a look. So I'm skipping straight to eyelashes and I'm using the Red Cherry 43s. Once I've popped those on, I'm just going to take this Master Precise Eyeliner by Maybelline and I'm going to apply a little bit of it to the front of my lash line to blend my natural lash line into my false lash band, if that makes sense. Once I've done that, I'm going to put a little bit of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese in my waterline, and then I'm applying a little bit of the Essence Dance All Night eyeshadow to my tear duct. And for mascara today, I'm gonna to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black, and I'm also going to apply that to my bottom lashes. Yes, I said lashes. And because I'm crazy, I'm gonna go back in with a clean brush and clean up the inner part of my cut crease a little bit. 
I don't know why I found it necessary to do this. Being a perfectionist is both a blessing and a curse. And for blush today, I'm gonna be a little bit crafty and I'm gonna use the same eyeshadow in Shrimp Me Up. And I'm gonna dust it on my cheekbones and on the apples of my cheeks as per usual. This eyeshadow acts as a gorgeous blush and it looks really good on all skin tones, especially deeper skin tones. And then I'm going in with my foundation brush that has a little bit of product left on it and I'm just gonna diffuse my blush a little so it's not too dramatic. For highlight today, I'm using MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and I'm placing that on my cheekbones with a fan brush. And now for the lips, I'm using this Stay Matte Lip Cream by Essence and I believe these are new and this shade is Velvet Rose. These lip creams smell amazing and they're actually better than the NYX ones in my opinion. I absolutely love this shade, I think it's perfect. And now I'm realizing I want a little bit of shine on my lips and maybe a little bit of a nude overlay so I'm gonna apply a little Pure Zen by MAC over top of the lip cream and this is just gonna finish off the look. And we're done! I hope you guys enjoyed this spontaneous, unplanned tutorial. I was feeling creative and I couldn't sleep. I think this look is suitable for all skin tones. I actually really like the look without any eyeliner, but if you'd like to throw some on, you can go right ahead. All the products that I use will be listed in the description box. As always, thank you very much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in my next video. Love you, bye!